Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your place to see real virtual tours on HUD homes in and around San Antonio and the South Texas area. If you're watching this video on HUDKing.com, click on the T to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. When you're at our YouTube page, if you click the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 1102 Piedmont. That's 1102 Piedmont over in Denver Heights, which is just east of downtown San Antonio. This is a three bedroom, two bath home, approximately 1,430 square feet, built in 1920. Exterior of this home is mostly wood siding. It does sit on a nice corner lot. The lot is about 5,000 square feet. It does not have a garage, but it does have a little driving area here, which takes you to the rear of the home. As you can see, it is a corner lot. Exterior-wise, you're going to want to repair, replace, paint a lot of the exterior wood siding. It is an older home, as I said, built in 1920, so it will need some renovating. Access to the home, to the inside of the home, is right here off of the side. So you have your front door here. Let's take a look at the backyard, and then we'll look at the inside. We have access to the backyard off of a door on the living or dining room, rather. Nice patio back here, nice cement slab. is plumbed for central air and heat, which is nice. And then we have access to your side, or kind of a small backyard, but nonetheless one. Let's look at the inside. Well, we step into your big open living room. I do love how many windows this room has because it gives it a lot of natural ambient lighting. It does have a faux wood floor down. The home probably originally did have wood floors, but they came back kind of with a cheap substitute and put that down. I suggest having the foundation looked at. It's going to need definitely some leveling and you probably want to end up ultimately updating the windows. As you can see, a lot of the windows are old and original, so there is some wood rot. We continue through the main living room. We have your bedrooms to the right here. Down the hallway here, we have bedroom number one right at the front of the home. It's got a new fresh coat of paint and probably repair or replace those floorings. We have bedroom number two right next to that. Same thing, fresh coat of paint and some flooring. There's a little bit of settling. We have full bathroom number one. Full bathroom number one has pretty ceramic tile. Kind of an odd shape. Uh, it has a shower and tub combo and you can see how high those ceilings are. Kind of one of the neat thing about these older homes is they do have typically really high ceilings. And then we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three is going to need a fresh coat of paint, some trim work, windows, and some flooring. You do have attic access here. Let me show you how high that ceiling is. So you have access into your attic there. And then we continue back through into the main living room. We come over and then we have your combined dining room here and laundry room. So you have your indoor washer and dryer connections here, which is nice. This can be either a second um, living area or a dining area. We come over and we have full bathroom number two here. Full bath number two is a single vanity and a shower, I'm sorry, shower only, yeah. So it's a shower only. You're gonna to wanna to fix the flooring in here, kinda of tighten up that shower, maybe replace that vanity. You have access to getting in the backyard there. And then access to the kitchen is actually over here through this area. So we have your kitchen here. High ceilings, definitely wanna repair or replace the cabinets in here. But it's a decent sized shape or a decent sized kitchen. Uh, the flooring is a little messed up. It has a cheap tack down linoleum flooring, so you probably want to repair or replace that. That's about it. There is some equity in this home. It's about 3000 underneath the county appraisal, but when you hear about the price, you'll see that it is a potentially good investment. Let me give you a summary. Well, there it is, 1102 Piedmont Avenue. That's 1102 Piedmont Avenue, a charming little three-bedroom, two-bath corner lot home. Yes, it's going to need some repairs, but it's listed right now for only... $35,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle. <laughs>